Good evening and welcome to Lady Lion Basketball. I'm Tim Stubbs. Flying solo here this evening as the Lady Lions take on Alabama A&M. Just underway and the Lady Bulldogs off to a 2-0 start as we start the game here. And pardon with me as I work through a couple of technical difficulties live on the radio and tape delayed on UAPB television. First minute into the ball game here and the Lady Lions and the Lady Bulldogs, two nothing our scores. The Lady Lions miss a basket opportunity underneath and the Lady Bulldogs have it leading two nothing with just over a minute going by here. Gonna work on a couple of things courtside here as the game goes on. I'll try to keep you updated as best as possible as Alabama a and just scored and they lead by a score of 4-0 with yeah, minute 20 in to the game here. Testing one, two. Let's try this one more time here. Test mic check one, two. Testing one, two. All right. Let's see if that sounds a little bit better in my headset here as the Lady Bulldogs lead by a score of four, nothing. 18 minutes left here in the first half. Victorian, the miss underneath. Two shots at at that time for the Lady Lions and the Lady Bulldogs leading by a score of four nothing. As they miss an easy shot underneath and here come the Lady Lions trailing by a score of four zip. Cassidy right with the basketball. Nice backdoor cut, easy layup there for Marsh and Victorian with the assist. Nicely done, four two the score. Holding the basketball out high, taking their time are the Lady Bulldogs as they work it around the perimeter here on the right side of the floor. Top of the key, they'll get it to Davis. Left side, wide open three. Scipio is out of bounds or is it? Nope, saved in for a moment. Now stolen away and the layup, was it a shot clock violation? Coach Nate Kilbert is saying shot clock violation. It sure seemed to be. Could not get the call though, however. Now they're gonna talk about it as the, it sure seemed like it should have been a shot clock violation. Now they're gonna come over and talk about it, but if it was an air ball and then they're gonna say that Victorian got the rebound and then she got it stolen from her. So it was a change of possession. That's what they're going to say about it. So we'll see what that's all about. As we're having all kinds of phone issues, even the visiting radio, their phone problems are messed up right now as well. They're trying to work on it. And I've been going in and out myself as we're tape delayed on television, which is much easier for the audio. So I apologize for that as Marsh misses the three off to the left side here. And my audio sounds very hot in my headset, but it keeps going on and off as well. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with the phone line situation as the visiting radio, they don't have anything right now. So we like to accommodate for everyone. I know when I go on the road and have these problems, it sure helps to be able to help out the other team as well, but not able to do so right now. 16-12 to play. That's where we are here in the first half, six to two. UAPV down by four, Alabama A&M with the basketball. Strickland, good pass inside, but then nice hands as Gentry steals it away for UAPV. Step back, 18-footer is good for LaKendra Marsh. 
Marsh. Marsh hits the jumper. Makes the score six to four now as Lady Lions pull to within two. And easy two down low. Clarissa Moore gets the basket. Clarissa Eight Moore. to four the score now. Four point lead for Alabama A&M and a turnover. Thrown away by Cassidy Wright. It's gonna lead us to our first media timeout. 15-18 to play here in the First half will step aside, eight to four, Alabama a &M leading UAPB by four back after this timeout. Back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena, Tim Stubbs, glad to be with you here. Eight to four, our score, the Lady Bulldogs leading by four over the Lady Lions. Five minutes into the game here. Alabama a &M with the basketball, they hold it out high. Brittany Strickland, out of Davis, left side. Five on the shot clock here, Strickland. She'll take the three, top of the key, or Shundre Davis, rather. Davis hits the three, and Alabama A&M off to a fast 11-4 start here. Marsh with the basketball, now to Chi-Chi. Top of the key, they'll work it around the perimeter. Cassidy Wright, she'll spot up for the three and connects from the left wing. 11-7. Wright matches Davis's three and pulls the Lady Lions to within four here. 14-15 and counting. Strickland holds her dribble, now top of the key to Davis, left side, open jumper, 18-footer is good for Daniel O'Neill. 13-7, six-point lead. And a travel down on the baseline against Gentry, I believe. We're going to have a foul instead. Foul on number 23, Ebony Johnson, her first personal It's first. going to be an Ebony Johnson, her first team foul, number one. First foul of the game for either team. And number 24. Ryan's Malone into the ball game for the first time, along with Marion Thompson, as Marsh and Victorian will check out of the ball game. Here's Lassane on the inbound, and she misses the wide open 18-footer from the right wing, Re rebound. Alabama A&M, they'll push it ahead, right side of the floor. Step back, 15-footer right side is good for Ebony Johnson. And it is 15 to seven. Alabama A&M leading by eight. Step back three, yes sir. Right, two in a row. She's heating up, very streaky shooter and off to a fast start, 15 to 10. Five point lead for Alabama A&M after that three point basket. Here's some pressure by the Lady Lions driving down the middle of the lane, layup is good. And the foul, a chance for a three point play is Danielle O'Neill. Is that Ebony Johnson, rather? Johnson, 23, O'Neill, 25, and O'Neill, the back of her jersey's bunched up. 
where the five nearly looks like a three and it's hard to tell them apart. Something that's got her, her jersey kind of bunched up there in the back. It's hard to see her number. So it was Johnson and not O'Neill, but a three-point opportunity nevertheless coming up here for Alabama A&M. They lead 17 to 10 and make it 18 to 10 with the free throw. Some pressure here, good screen by Gentry. Cassidy Wright thought about the three. Passes it up, Gentry, baseline, little one-hander from about eight feet out, will not go, and we're gonna have a rebound foul on the Lady Lions. Ryan's Malone picks it up her first. Second team foul on UAPB. 12 and a half to play first half. 18 to 10, Alabama A&M with an eight point lead. Good hands and a near steal. And trying to save it from going out of bounds, not able to do so, Alabama A&M turns the basketball over. Off of Daniel O'Neill and UAPB gets it back down eight. Long three left side, will not go for Christina Lassane, and here come the Lady Bulldogs. Leading by eight with a basketball. In the lane, shot up, blocked by Thompson. We're gonna have a whistle and a foul as Ebony. Twelve minutes to go. And Alabama AM doubling up the Lady Lions so far, 20 to 10. Here's Chi Chi, strong move in the lane, goes up with the left hand, will not go offensive rebound, stick back, no good. And Chi Chi has a third chance at it as Ryan's Malone kept it alive, missed it, and Chi Chi will go up for two free throws as she's fouled. We'll have a media timeout. We'll step aside with 11.42 remaining in the first half. It's Alabama A&M 20, UAPB 10, right back in a moment. Check that foul call. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. Welcome back inside of H.O. Clemens Arena. Tim Stubbs. Court side here as Chi Chi connects on the first. Chi Chi was 10 of 10 from the foul line in her last ball game. She has become a really good free throw shooter for UAPB. Lane violation here on A&M, but nevertheless, Chi Chi makes it anyway. Makes it 20 to 12, pulls the Lady Lions to within eight. Alabama a with the basketball, leading in control here. A long three, left side is good by Brittany Strickland. Strickland 
Knocks it in, makes it 23 to 12. Needing some help. And a turnover. Marion Thompson had the pressure. They trapped her right on the sideline here. And she turns it over with 11-13 to play. Alabama A&M, their largest lead of 11 right now, 23 to 12. Going baseline, pull up 15 footer for Strickland, an air ball, and just bad enough as it was kept alive to Elisa Strickland. Now they're working around the perimeter. Strickland, long three, right wing, yes sir. And the Stricklands right now are hurting UAPB from Stockbridge, Georgia. And Brittany and Elisa Strickland. Long three, Marsh right side, will not go. Rebound pulled down by Brittany Strickland. They'll push it ahead. Davis in transition. Finding a easy layup and a timeout on the floor. Ebony Johnson has the basket, but Alabama A&M right now clicking on all cylinders as they lead by a score of 28 to 12. And all of a sudden it's a 16 point deficit for Coach Kilbert's ball club. With 10-15 to play, we'll keep it here on this timeout as the Lady Lions searching for answers early on here and Alabama A&M taking advantage of it. As we recognize you for your role in making America the great country that it is today. Immediately following after the two competing games, we cleared the court. Please come down so that we may say thank you for your sacrifices which you have made and continue to make. We'll see if the Lady Lions can do a little better job with the pressure here. As they'll inbound it, Lassane needs some help going right down the sideline, left side of the floor. Now she'll turn it over. Another turnover as Alabama a and getting anything they want right now. UAPB's helping them out with these turnovers. Strickland looking down low, nothing there. Now they'll set it up top of the key. Davis, right side to Strickland. Now dumping it down low. Sanders is going to get tied up underneath and it's going to remain with the Lady Bulldogs here. Seven on the shot clock. Robinson, Davis, she'll have to fire it up. One on the shot clock, throws up an air ball out of bounds. 9.36 to play before halftime, and Christina Lassane will inbound it. Here's Marsh. Walker, they're working around Lassane now. Here's Chi Chi, the kick out Marsh, will spot up for three. LaKendra Marsh hits the three for UAPB. That'll, that'll help. 28-15, lead to 13 now as UAPB draws a little closer on the triple by LaKendra Marsh. Harper trying to get it inside, does so, shot up, will not go, but a foul is called as Nadra Robertson, the 6'3 senior from Conway, Arkansas. Foul on Chichia Popovac, her first personal 14 foul. Shooting two for the Lady Bulldogs, number 55, Nadra Richardson. And first shot is good. Robertson. And for Alabama and m will be number 32. One of two players is Shabrin Richardson is from Dumas, Arkansas. One of two players from Arkansas on the roster of Alabama A&M. Second shot's no good by Robertson. Offensive rebound and kept alive by Strickland. 29-15, 14-point lead here. 
Alabama a &M with the basketball. It's Robertson again off the glass and she lays it up and in. So she gets the second chance and is able to do some damage there. And Lassane will set it up for UAPB, but the Lady Lions down 31 to 15. Here's Walker, strong move to the basket. Some contact, no call. And the rebound pulled down by Alabama A&M. Davis is trapped, top of the key. Strickland spots up for three and misses this time. Robertson, another offensive rebound. She gets tied up and alternating possession is going to go to Pine Bluff. And we will have a stoppage in play here. Immediate timeout with 7.54 remaining. 31-15. 16 point lead for Alabama a and The Lady Lions look to get back in it when we return. A boy born in Joplin, Missouri was fascinated by anything with wheels and a motor. The odds of him going on to fascinate millions with his talent? One in 260,000. The odds of this born racer having 157 career top 10 finishes in NASCAR? One in 125 billion. The odds of him winning both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same year? One in 195 million. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism? One in 110. I'm NASCAR driver Jamie McMurray, and my niece has autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Back inside of H.O. Clemens uh, Arena here. Tim Stubbs, glad to be with you. Bringing the basketball up is going to be Christina Lassane. Lady Lions down 31 to 15, 7.45 to play before halftime. Trying to get it to Gentry. Gentry right at the free throw line, strong move. Trying to dump it down low, nearly lost it. Chi Chi can't handle it and gets it back. Here's Lassane, the kick out. Gentry, foot on the line. Misses the long two. Rebound pulled down by Alabama A&M. They'll push it ahead in transition. Two on two. Robertson can't handle the pass out of bounds. And UAPB will get it back trailing. 31-15 with 7.21 to go here before halftime. Here's Chi Chi trying to dump it down low, and we're going to have a whistle. A foul as Gentry hit the floor. Foul number 55, not for Robertson. Her first personal third team foul. It's on Nigel Robertson. And that's her first, and that is the third team foul on Alabama A&M. Hagee to inbound it for UAPB. 7.07 to go before halftime. Here's Chi Chi, a little up and under move, goes up with the right hand, scores it in the lane. 31-17, 14 point lead for Alabama A&M here. Robertson, boy, she got trapped in a hurry. Now Strickland's got it back inside of Robertson and she draws the contact. And two free throws coming up here for Nadja Robertson. 6.46 to go. Foul call to number 34, Chi Chi Okumawa. Her second personal, 15 foul. It's on Chi Chi. Shooting two for the Lady Bulldogs. That's her number second, 15 foul Robert. on UAPB. First shot off the front of the iron, no in good. Lady Lions, number 24, Marion Thompson. And in for the Lady Bulldogs, number 23, Ebony Johnson. Second shot is good for Robertson. She's two of four from the foul line, the senior from Conway, Arkansas. 
No pressure here by the Bulldogs, but they have a comfortable 32-17, 15-point lead here. Here's Lassane. Ball is kicked, no call. Gets the basketball to Marion Thompson. Now Thompson gets her shot blocked by Robertson. And here come the Bulldogs. Strickland has it top of the key here. Left side pull up. And the jumper is good. And the foul, Lisa Strickland. The junior guard from Stockbridge, Georgia. Knocks the 17-footer in and draws the foul. So she'll shoot for a chance for a three-point play here. And they double up the Lady Lions, 34-17. Gentry and Hague here out. Cassidy Wright and Victorian are back in. And in for the Lady Bulldogs, number 42, Sabrin Richardson. So right now, this Alabama A&M team clicking on all cylinders, playing a near-perfect first half of play here as they lead 35-17. UAPB in transition. Here is Lassane, goes up off the glass in the lane, no good, but draws the foul. Christina Lassane to the line for two shots here. number five, Brittany Strickland. That'll be her first 6.06 to play before halftime. Make the first. First shot is good for Christina. She'll have one more coming up. As the Lady Lions gonna try to cut into this big deficit here before halftime and they got their work cut out for them. Two free throws by Lassane, but they're going to need more than that. It's 35 19. Taking the time, Strickland left side. O'Neill's got it, driving baseline. O'Neill off the glass, no good. And another offensive rebound, this one by Richardson, and they'll set it up top of the key. Lady Bulldogs. Hurting UAPB on the glass big time. Right side of the floor, Strickland step back three, too strong this time, and Lassane's got it coming the other way for Pine Bluff, they'll push it ahead. Set up their offense, top of the key here. Now working at left side, just in front of the A&M bench. A reach in, no call there as Cassidy Wright corrals it. Kicks it out. Marsh spots up for three. Yes, sir. Kendra. Kendra Marsh hits the three, and the Lady Lions have pulled to within 13. 35 22 now. Five to play before halftime. See if they can get it to single digits before the break. Whistle and a foul as Brittany Strickland, one of the two Stricklands. Foul number 24. Marion Thompson, her second personal. Strickland is going to go to the line here, and it's going to be a one and one, I believe. And in for the Lady Lions, number 10, Carlisa Walker. Carlisa Walker back in the ball game as Thompson takes a seat. Nate Kilbert working the officials as he normally does. First shot is good for Brittany Strickland. 4.58 to go before halftime. She'll shoot another and hits. And in for Alabama a &M will be number 22, Dandre Davis. Four fifty to go before halftime, 37-22. Lady Lions down 15, they have the basketball. Here's Marsh, picked up by Strickland, looking for a screen and we have a whistle and a foul. And this one's gonna be on Strickland, on Elisa Strickland. Foul on number three, Elisa Strickland. Her first personal 15 foul. Marsh set for the inbound. Now Lassane's got it left side to Cassidy Wright. Wright puts it on the floor, goes up 
with the right hand of the lane. In and out, no good. Drawing the foul is right. She'll shoot a pair. Foul on number 25, Danielle O'Neill. Her first personal 16 foul. Shooting two, number 20. Kathy Stops the clock at 4.59. Wright's first free throw is up and it's good. And the first free throw is good. 37-23 now. The Lady Lions at one and one in conference play. Trying to make this a two for three homestand here as the first three games are at home for both men and women. And it's good. On the men's side of things, the Golden Lions are 2-0. and oh. They've won by 15 in both games against Valley and Alabama State. 37-24 after the free throws, 13-point game. Johnson, as she tried to back it out, looked like she double dribbled there and turns it over. Strickland, one of them on the floor, the other one on the bench. They have been a dynamic duo here. Here's Cassidy right for three, it's short. In transition, no foul called. Pushing it all the way off the glass. No good by Davis. Offensive rebound. Sanders is going to get tied up. And let's see if they're going to have a foul or an alternating possession. I believe they called the foul. Maybe not. I was not sure what it was. But Alabama a &M got it back nevertheless. Near still there. Alyssa Strickland pulls up, 17-footer, no good. Loose ball rebound, again comes away to A&M. Sanders shot up, will not go, and Walker's got it. But the Lady Bulldogs really, really hurting UAPD on the glass, both offensively and defensively. Three and a half to go and another turnover. As we're nearing halftime. Lesane trying to get it back after turning it over, nearly doing so, but A&M's got it coming the other way here. Alabama A&M leading 37-24 with just over three minutes to play before halftime. Left side of the floor. Putting it on the deck. Johnson needs some help, hits the floor. Strickland keeps it alive. Wide open, long two for O'Neill is good. 18-footer left wing and knocks it in. 39-24, Alabama and m Here's Victorian on the right block. Turn spins, goes over the right hand. Too strong, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Alabama and m with 13 on the shot clock. And have a media timeout, I believe, here. We will. 2.35 to play before halftime. We'll step aside. 39-24. Alabama and m in control. Lady Lions trying to get back in it here at home. Back in a moment. GoodGoes.org. It's always wildfire season somewhere in America. Nearly nine out of 10 wildfires are caused by the carelessness of humans and could be prevented. But together, we can make a difference. Watch what I can do. Help protect the home of our forest friends. Come on, you can do it. Only you can prevent wildfires. To find out more, log on to SmokeyBear.com. 2.35 to play before halftime. 39-24. Alabama and m in control. UAPB with the basketball here. Top of the key, Marsh. She'll take the long three off to the right. No good. Ryan's Malone tried to keep it alive, but she couldn't do so. 
kick out. Strickland on the baseline. She's fouled hard as Walker got a piece of her. And two free throws coming up as Brittany Strickland will limp to the line. Boy, she got hacked pretty good there. Carlisha Walker, that's her first personal foul, 18 foul on Arkansas Pine Bluff. That's first shot is good. And she knocks in a pair. The Strickland girls are quite a tandem here for Alabama A&M. Kendra Marshall bring it up slowly. As we approach the two minute mark here before halftime, the Lady Lions down 17. Victorian, nice dish inside. Walker gets her shot blocked. Here comes A&M pushing it the other way. Strickland, the right wing, gets it down low to Sanders. Her shot blocked, looked pretty clean there by Victorian. We're gonna get her with a foul. Stops the clock at 153 before halftime. And Jasmine Victorian picks up her first ninth team foul on Pine Bluff. Shooting two will be number 24, Jasmine Sanders. And for the Lady Bulldogs, number 34, Summer Harper. 42-24. As the Lady Bulldogs are in control here, but UAPB trying to get back into it. And they're having a hard time. This Lady Bulldog team is a good basketball team. As, well, they are just playing lights out here in the first half. 42-24, 148 to play before halftime. Here's Victorian driving left side of the lane, goes up, shot up, will not go in and out, but a whistle and a foul. Couple of free throws coming up here for Jasmine Victorian. First shot is good for Jasmine. One more coming up. Jasmine, a six foot. Sophomore forward out of Houston, Texas, and she knocks in a pair. And the second is good. 43 26. Oh, and a steal. Ryan Malone, good hands. In transition, Marsh is fouled. That foul's going to be on at Summer Harper. Foul number 34, Summer Harper. A freshman at the Gulfport, Mississippi. A senior from Smackover. March to the line for a couple here. Kendra has already got 10 points in the first half and make it 11. And double figures again is the senior. Off to a good start. Wright's hit a couple of threes and LaKendra Marsh has hit a couple of threes. Second free throw is good. 43-28. UAPB down 15 here with 125 to play. First half. And good hands again as Harper got it stolen away. Walker took it from her with the steal. Here's Marsh, looks for a screen from Victorian, gets one, had the pick and roll, and finally they get it. A little delayed pick and roll, but it worked nevertheless. Marsh to Victorian, and the easy layup makes it 43-30. Lady Lions down 13. 50 seconds before halftime. Sanders passes up on the jumper and nearly turns it over. Right in front of the UAPB bench, it hits to Strickland. She wanted a foul as she looked like she hit the deck pretty hard, but a block nevertheless. Marsh to Victoria and a whistle and a foul on the floor. And UAPB is going to have a couple of free throws coming up here, but Strickland was hit pretty hard there. As the head coach. Now, Therius Warmly is pretty upset, and I don't blame her. That did look like a foul on the other end here, but UAPB caught a break. 
definitely getting all ball was Walker, but she got her pretty hard with the body, and Strickland was expecting a whistle to be called, didn't get it. UAPB came back the other end. They're going to say it was a one and one, no shooting foul, and the miss by Marsh. So UAPB misses an opportunity there to get a little closer. 27 seconds left. Now it's still. Here's Ryan's Malone, pushes it ahead. Big possession here. Layup is in and out, no good. A little runner from about four or five feet out in front of the basket would not go down. Ten seconds left before halftime, and Alabama AM can hold for the final shot here if they want to do so. Strickland, the kick out to the other Strickland. Alisa Strickland this time to Brittany Strickland, and no good out of bounds with 1.7 seconds left. And let's see, it's going to be AM basketball, last touch by UAPB. Lady Lions down 13 right here before halftime, and Coach Warmly wants to call a timeout for AM to talk things over. So we'll pause here for uh, just a moment. 43-30, UAPB down 13, but they've had a couple opportunities to get this down to single digits and wasted those chances. As Alabama and m I believe their largest lead was 17, and Lady Lions have battled back here and could be a little closer than 13, but staying within striking distance as Alabama and m has played a near perfect first half. They've just been sensational as UAPD is trying to hang tough with this high powered Alabama and m ball club. Here's the inbound coming up, 1.7 seconds left. Moore shot up, will not go, and we are at the half. 43-30, our score, 13-point lead for the Lady Bulldogs over UAPB. We'll step aside and have the second half coming up for you shortly, right after this. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified, not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who do something, the people who take action, are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making home affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. Welcome back courtside here from H.O. Clemens Arena. Tim Stubbs, glad to be back with you. Lady Lion basketball here live on KUAP 89.7 FM and tape delayed on UAPB television. A near perfect first half there for Alabama A&M as far as basketball is concerned. Leading 43 to 30 are the Lady Bulldogs over UAPB. They shot 50% to the Bulldogs. 14 of 28. They were 12 of 14 from the foul line. Three of eight from downtown. Out rebounded UAPB 24 to nine. And the thought the second half. They did have 10 turnovers. UAPB only three. And the Lady Lions shot 28%. Eight of 29 from the field. 10 of 11 from the foul line for the Lady Lions. Four of nine from downtown, that's not bad at all, but that rebound edge, 24 to nine, really hurt the Lady Lions. Now they turn it over here due to the Lady Lions on the first possession of the second half. 1944 in county, just underway. Here is Sanders off the glass, in and out, no good. Chi Chi the rebound for UAPB. Lassane pushes it ahead, right side of the floor. Right now to Gentry. Gentry backs down Robertson. Shot up from about eight feet in the lane. No good. Battles for it. Victorian's got the rebound. She will go up, miss the layup, and come in the other way. All the Lady Bulldogs inside. Robertson tries to kick it out. Stolen away. Here's Cassidy Wright in transition. 
No contact, lost out of bounds, and it's going to go to A&M. Said Gentry a moment ago, that was Victorian with the shot and the offensive rebound. Gentry coming off the bench here in the second half. Just one minute into the second half, UAPV down 13, but just one run away from getting back into it. Trailed by as many as 17. Had some chances to cut it to single digits there before halftime, before A&M went in by 13 at the break. That's where we stand right now, same score. Strickland to Strickland. Sanders looking down low, nobody there, 10 on the shot clock. Top of the key, Davis. Now they'll get it eight feet out. Shot up no good by Clarissa Moore, and UAPB's got it coming the other way. It's going to be Lassane, looks for a screen from Victorian. Here's Chi Chi, step back, 12 footer, gets the friendly roll. 43-32, now an 11 point game, the closest UAPB's been in a while. And lost out of bounds by A&M. Right in front of their bench on the left side of the floor there. So the Lady Lions have a chance to get it down to single digits here for the first time in a long time. Bringing it up is going to be Lassane. 43-32, 11 point lead, Alabama A&M, UAPV cutting into it ever so slightly here. Kendra Marsh, leading scorer for UAPB with 12. She's got it, top of the key. 18-foot jumper, will not go. And battle for the rebound. It's knocked out to A&M. They'll push it ahead at Strickland. Behind the back dribble. She'll hold it up and get it to Shundre Davis. Davis picked up by Cassidy Wright. Looks for a screen. Here's Davis. Holds her dribble. Now she'll work it around the perimeter to Johnson. Swing it around to Strickland. Lisa to Brittany, now here we go. In the lane, Johnson, little runner is good from 12 feet out, left side of the floor. 45-32. A near still as Lassane nearly lost it, now she regains possession. It's gonna be an overplay and a foul called on Ebony Johnson as she was reaching in, trying to steal it away from Chi Chi. Foul on number 23, Ebony Johnson. Her second personal foul, first team foul. Here's the inbound of Gentry to Marsh now. Marsh, oh, she's hurt. She goes down with, with an apparent knee injury. Boy, that's, that don't look good at all. Timeout, Lady Lyons. She's on the floor there, and there is a timeout called by UAPB, but Marsh tried to make a move, and her leg or knee, something didn't give properly, and she went down in a hurry. She limps back to the bench, and let's hope that's nothing major right there. Anytime you start talking about ligaments and knees, and it gets scary, so let's hope she's gonna be okay, but we'll keep it here as there's a timeout on the floor with 16.56 to go. We're still a minute away from a, our first media timeout. UAPB trailing 45-32. We'll have men's action coming up for you shortly after this one. Right now, the Lady Lions trying to improve to two and one in conference play and make it two in a row. They knocked off Alabama State by five here on Sunday. Lost by seven to last year's SWAC champion, Mississippi Valley State, last Wednesday. A three game homestand, play a couple of games on the road and then right back home the 19th and 21st of this month. Set to inbound the basketball is Cassidy Wright, 27 on the shot clock as LaKendra Marsh is trying to walk off whatever injury she suffered a moment ago. Chi Chi takes the basketball, top of the key, gonna have a whistle and a holding foul underneath, and this one's gonna be on Clarissa Moore. Foul on number 32, Clarissa Moore, her second personal. 
Here's the end battle of Sane. Strong drive, goes over the left hand off the glass. Too strong, no good. Pushing it the other way, Alabama A&M in transition all the way for the layup. Left hand is good by Melissa Strickland, or Brittany Strickland, rather. Stolen away, great hands, Brittany Strickland. Works on right, dumps it off at the last second. A travel, I believe, is going to be called. It is on Clarissa Moore. So Arkansas Pine Bluff will get it back. 16-24 to go. Trilling by 15. Had it down to 11 with the ball a moment ago, but unable to get any closer. Gentry looking for Chi-Chi down low and Got a little impatient, took the shot from deep and missed it. In transition, Davis, the kick out to Sanders, overshoots a little floater from the right side, no good. Here comes UAPB in transition. Akumabwa, right side of the floor, Ryan's Malone now looking down low. She's going to get it to Chi Chi. Chi Chi turns, little up and under move, goes up with the left hand and scores it. Okumabwa getting after. She's got eight in the game. 15-40 to play, 47-34, lead down to 13. That's where we were at halftime. Both teams with four points here in the first four-plus minutes of the second half. Eight on the shot clock, got a move here. Davis, the kick out in the corner. Three is up and no good, but Brittany Strickland is fouled and she's gonna shoot some free throws here. It nearly made it. Three shots coming up. We've got a media timeout, we'll step aside. 15-18 to go. 47-34, 13 point lead and free throws coming up for Alabama A&M right after this timeout. Over 13 million people are affected by famine, war and drought in the Horn of Africa. When you hear about suffering on this scale, you feel powerless. But there's hope because saving lives doesn't take a lot. It just takes a lot of us. Text a donation of $10, but do more than donate. Forward the facts to everyone you know. Forward from our site. Forward on Facebook. And forward on Twitter. We are the relief. this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Jose and the students in your community make it through by visiting boostup.org. 15-18 to play here. Tim Stubbs, courtside H.O. Clemens Arena. Glad to be with you here on this third conference game here on this three-game home trip. A home stand, rather. Road trip coming up for UAPB. Lady Lions trailing the Lady Bulldogs of Alabama A&M, however. 47 to 34, hadn't been able to really crack single digits in some time. And at the line, it's gonna be Brittany Strickland. I believe she's got three free throws coming up here. She was fouled on a three-point attempt a moment ago. Brittany Strickland's first shot is good. She's got 10 points, four rebounds in the game, does Brittany Strickland. And Alyssa Strickland's got six points and four rebounds and three assists as they have been quite a tandem. One more coming up as she's made the first two. And she made them pay, didn't she? All three there for Brittany Strickland. She now has 12 in the game to lead the way for Alabama A&M. Here's Chi Chi, top of the key, puts it on the floor, kicks it out to Thompson, needs some help. Back down low, a little two-man game, shot up, and the friendly roll is there, but it wouldn't go down. Nice and soft on the rim, but wouldn't go down for Chi Chi, unfortunately. Gonna have a foul here on the right side of the floor as the Alabama A&M tries to 
throw it across court here. Foul number four, Christina it's going to be on Christina Lassane. That's her first team foul, number two. A good sign here as Lakendra Marsh checks back into the ball game for Lassane after she sustained a, an injury. Went down and it's good to see her back in the ball game there. It scared me. Thought it was a possible knee injury. Here's Robertson, got it knocked away, gets it back a second time and now lays it up and in. 52-34 and now an 18 point lead here for the Lady Bulldogs of Alabama a &M. This is their largest lead of the ball game. Here's a three left side for Marsh, will not go. Rebound Robertson, here come the Bulldogs. They'll push it ahead, Davis. Left side, Brittany Strickland, or Alyssa Strickland, rather. Alyssa Strickland. The Stricklands are confusing me. One wears three, one wears five. And that time it was Alyssa Strickland with a 15-foot jumper. And both of them have been dynamite here for Alabama A&M. Here's Chi-Chi. It rims out on her from 15. 54, 34, 20-point lead for Alabama A&M. Inside shot up will not go by Sanders. Battle for the rebound is going to be won by Ryan's Malone. Cassidy Wright's got it. She'll slowly push it ahead here. 13 and a half to play. Second half. 20 point lead for Alabama AM as they have played a stellar game tonight. Here's Marsh off the glass in the lane. Too strong, no good. And Sanders needs some help. Finally gets it to Alyssa Strickland. Strickland in the lane. Shot in and out and back in again. Right on the little left elbow there by the free throw line. And Alyssa Strickland's got 10. Brittany Strickland's got 12. They have continued to hurt UAPB all night. 56-34 lead up to 22 now as Chi-Chi's shot was partially blocked, missed it, rebound. Here come the Lady Bulldogs pushing it ahead. Davis in transition, the kick out. A wide open shot is good, but they're gonna wave it off and call a traveling violation. And for the Lady Bulldogs, number 23. That one was on Danielle O'Neill, and O'Neill is out. As Ebony Johnson checks back in, gonna have a timeout on the floor, it looks like. I believe. Not quite sure what the stoppage in play is, but now they're telling the players to continue to play here. 12.37 to go. It's all Lady Bulldogs here tonight. They led by 13 at halftime, and they lead by 22 here with 12 and a half to play and another near turnover as Cassidy Wright ties it up with Alyssa Strickland. Alternating possession is going to give it back to the Bulldogs. Trying to trap out of it here. No go. Off the glass shot up will not go for Ebony Johnson. Battle for the rebound is, I think I caught a jump ball and thought maybe a foul there as Johnson took down Hagee, but alternating possession this time is going to give it back to Pine Bluff. Lassane back in as Cassidy Wright will take a seat. Twelve minutes to play in the ball game. UAPB down 22 here. Lassane right side to Marsh. Picked up by Brittany Strickland. Marsh down Thompson. Marion Thompson, strong little step to the right there. Shot off the glass, no good. Hagee had the rebound, she misses it. Now Walker the offensive rebound and she's fouled and she'll shoot a couple. Hagee and Walker being active on the glass. A couple of free throws coming up when we return from this media timeout. 11.45 remaining, 56-34. All Lady Bulldogs right now, back in a moment.
saya kita ketuk dah. Dan saya wujud. See where the good goes at goodgoes.org. Two two for the Lady Lions. Number ten, Carlisha Walker. Carlisha Walker to the line as we resume play here. Her first free throw is in and out, no good. One more coming up for the sophomore from Itabina, Mississippi. Lady Lions down 22 with 11.45 to go. Alabama A&M has played just an awesome game here, and UAPB is battle tough but not able to overcome some of the mistakes, and the rebounding edge has really hurt the Lady Lions as Walker missed. The second free throw as well, out of bounds to A&M. Alabama A&M out rebounding the Lady Lions of UAPB 35 to 16, and that's really the telling stat of the game. Alyssa Strickland for three, top of the key. This time no good, battle for the rebound. A foul is called as Akwumabwao hits the floor, and that's going to go against Robertson, I believe. Foul number 55, Nyko Robertson. So Nadra Robertson is going to go to the bench. She's got eight in the game, but three fouls now, so she will take a seat. Bringing the basketball up is Lassane for UAPB, cross midcourt. Now to Marsh, Akumabwao puts it on the floor, works on Sanders, goes over the left hand, scores it in the lane. Nicely done for Chi Chi. Akumabwao in double figures now with 10. Alyssa Strickland to Brittany. Baseline pull-up jumper will not go for Sanders, and Lassane has the rebound coming the other way in transition. Here's Lassane to Hagee. In the lane, dumps it down low. Walker, little pump fake off the glass, score it. Nicely done, Hagee to Walker. Some pressure set up now by UAPB as they got it down to 18. Still 10 and a half to go. UAPB, if they can get on a run here and get back in it, with a lot of time left, but they're going to have to do some damage in a hurry. In the lane, well, they missed a travel there. And now it's still by Hagee. Sure looked like Ebony Johnson took some steps. No call, but UAPB will get it nevertheless. Here's Lassane. She'll set it up. Just over 10 to play. And now a turnover, miscommunication. Hagee started to go left, and Lassane threw it right, and out of bounds. And for the Lady Bulldogs, number 32, Clarissa Moore, and number 22, Sandra Davis. And in for the Lady Lions, number three, Asia 10 5 to go. Alabama A&M will inbound it. Here's... Brittany Strickland nearly throwing it away. Pull up jumper, Strickland's got it. Alyssa Strickland ends up getting it to Brittany Strickland and Brittany knocks it in. 14 in the game for Brittany Strickland. Lead back to 20 for the Bulldogs. Pull up 17 footer off to the right, no good by Lassane. Sanders, here come the Bulldogs beating everyone back on the other end of the court was Alyssa Strickland lays it up and in. Alyssa Strickland. And just like that, lead back to 22. That's the kind of night it's been for the Lady Bulldogs. Well, they can do no wrong. Hagee. Chi Chi step back, 10 footer, too strong, no good. Here come the Bulldogs with it. Davis looking down low to Sanders. Sanders turns, goes up with the right hand, partially blocked, no good. Good job, good defense there by Akwumabwa. Sana set it up, 8.50 to play. Chi Chi faces the basket, turns, spins, goes up with a little fadeaway, one-handed shot from about 10 feet out, missed it. In transition and a turnover. Alabama AM tried to push it. Chandra Davis was trying to get it ahead to Clarissa Moore. She couldn't handle a tough pass and out of bounds for the turnover. 8.33 to go. Gentry set to check in at the next dead ball for UAPB. 
And Lassane to bring it up here across midcourt. And now a steal or a foul. Let's see, it was a steal, but fouling Marsh was Brittany Strickland. Eight twenty-one to play. Gentry and Wright back in the ball game is. And for the Lady Lions, number twenty, Cassidy Wright. And number forty, Ryan's Malone and Chi Chi take a seat. Here's Cassidy Wright. Goes up, right side of the floor, blocked out of bounds, some contact, no call. It's gonna stay with UAPB with 19 on the shot clock, 8.09 to go on the game clock. In for the Lady Bulldogs, number 25, Danielle O'Neill. Marsh the inbound, here is Lassane. She'll pull the trigger, no good, right side of the floor. Rebound pulled down by Moore. Here come the Bulldogs. Davis picks up her dribble, now left side of the floor to Strickland. Here Davis gets it back. In the lane, little stutter step, goes up with the right hand, scores it inside. 62-38, Alabama A&M. Next set ball be immediate timeout. 7.40 to play. Lassane to Gentry. In the lane, goes up with the right hand and will not go. Another rebound for AM, and now they throw it away. Tough pass by Moore right off the foot of Sanders and out of bounds. So UAPB will get it back when we return from this media timeout. timeout. 7.31 remaining in the ball game. Alabama AM still in control, leading 62 to 38 over the Lady Lions right back after this timeout. How you doing? My name's Steve. My family's lived in this neighborhood for years. Recently, things got so tight, we had to go to our local food bank for help. I lost a lot of sleep worrying about what the neighbors might think. That is until I saw them there, too. How'd I do, Steve? A little stiff. If you could have done a little what? better. What? Come on! You know, I have an Academy Award. Yeah, but not for playing me. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. No, two seconds. Hang on, just stand still. Stand still, love. One second. I know. Just, just go, go, go. No. Boys, hang on, boys. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. 731 to go. 62-38, Alabama A&M in control. Kendra Marsh will inbound it here for UAPB as we resume play. 30 on the shot clock. A new shot clock after A&M turns it over there right before that media timeout. A&M continuing to dominate the glass, 40 to 18 on the boards. Really the telling stat here tonight. UAPB just shooting 24% from the field, A&M 48%. Both teams have shot free throws well. The foul was called on Ebony Johnson. UAPB will have a two-shot opportunity here by Marsh. Marsh leading the way with 12 points in the game. First shot off to the left, no good. And second one is there, Marsh with 13 in the game. 62-39, A&M in control, in by 23, seven minutes to play and a near steal. Will they get it? They will not. Here come the Bulldogs, Strickland to Sanders. No good off the glass, rebound pulled down by Gentry. Here comes Lassane with it. 
She'll hold it out high, left side of the floor. Miss Walker on the cut, and here's Marsh. Step back three for Marsh, it's good. Kendra Marsh, her third three of the ball game. She's got 16 now to lead all scores. And a whistle and an injury timeout could be coming up here as Looks like Daniel O'Neill is something happened, maybe lost a contact. They're looking for it on the floor there, but it's going to stop play for a moment as she tries to find her contact there and right, right at midcourt. Now have a little injury timeout here, I think, or now they're going to keep them on the floor. Nope, going to keep them on the floor instead. Six and a half to play. Here's the inbound. They'll get it top of the key here to the Bulldogs. Chandra Davis has it, picked up by a right. Now in the corner, Alyssa Strickland. She'll miss the three. Sanders, the offensive rebound, and the stick back. And that has been the storyline in this game for Alabama and M. The glass, nice little scoop shot there for Marsh. She's having a great game. 64-44. She's got 18 wide open Sanders on the overplay after the press there. And Jasmine Sanders has nine in the game. She gets the easy layup. Approaching five and a half minutes left. 66-44. Alabama and m Leading big here on the road. Walker to Gentry off the glass, misses the shot, gets it back, and she'll go to the line. Foul on the second chance. Foul number 43, Ebony Johnson, her fourth personal foul, 17 foul. Shooting two for the Lady Lions, number 43, Janice Gentry. First shot for Gentry, rims out, no good. And for the Lady Bulldogs, number 55, Myra Robertson. One more coming up for Janice Gentry, and she missed both of them. Some pressure here in the backcourt. And a foul's gonna be on UAPB's Clarissa Walker. Chi Chi's going to check back into the ball game as Gentry will take a seat. Her second personal, third team foul. In for the Lady Lions, number 34, Chi Chi Okuma Walker. They'll push it ahead here. Here comes Strickland. Brittany Strickland. Well, she turned her head for one second. And Oba Okuma Walker with the steal. Nicely done. Boy, she turned away just to pass it, and Chi Chi was right there to take it from her. Rare air ball here by Wright. Cassidy Wright out of bounds. Timeout, Lady Bulldogs. Timeout going to be called by the Lady Bulldogs. We'll keep it here with 4.53 to go. And it's 66 44. All Alabama AM here in this one. Shortly after this ball game, we'll have men's action coming up for you. Then on Monday, January 14th, the Lady Lions and Golden Lions will travel to all. Stay tuned for that one. The Braves and Lady Braves of All Farm State University. As the UAPB men's team tries to improve to 3-0. That supports the UAPB Lady Lions and Golden Lions as they travel to Southern 15-point winners over Mississippi Valley State and Alabama State. And they'll hook up with a tough Alabama a &M team shortly after this one here, about 30 minutes after the conclusion for our radio listeners. And right after for our tape-delayed viewers on UAPB TV. 
Here is Alyssa Strickland in the lane. Her shot is partially blocked out of bounds and off of A&M. So UAPB will get it back with 438 left, but I'm afraid too much to make up in this little time as they trail 22 by 22 with just four and a half to play. And in a game like this, players keep playing, coaches keep coaching. Use it as a learning tool down the stretch here. Marsh missed the tough leaner in the lane. Rebound Alabama a &M. They'll push it ahead. Brittany Strickland will hold it up. Now left side of the floor to Alyssa Strickland. Shandre Davis, top of the key as they work the clock here. Strickland inside of Robertson tried to dump it over to Brittany Strickland and nearly turned it over. Back inside it goes to Robertson. She goes up off the glass and good in the middle of the lane there. This is a game high now, 24 point lead for the Lady Bulldogs of Alabama A&M. 68-44, just over three and a half to play. In the lane, Chi Chi goes over the left hand and she will draw the foul. She'll go to the line with 3.33 left. We'll step aside with our final media timeout. 68-44, all Alabama A&M. Chi Chi to the line when we return. My sadness and depression grew out of giving myself to my career before I would give myself to myself. I didn't want to tell my parents. I, I really didn't want to tell anybody, and I didn't. I shut down. Giving voice to what you're feeling is part of the healing. The healing is in me and can also be extended to others. If you're strong enough to just open your mouth, that's all it takes. Hi, I'm Terry Williams. Can I tell you that it is way past time for us to come face to face with the issue of mental illness in the black community? Time for us to stop hiding it behind closed doors. Share ourselves. Healing starts with us. 3.33 remaining here. Tim Stubbs courtside from H.O. Clemens Arena. Fortunately, the Lady Lions on the bitter end of this one. Down by 24 with three and a half to go. Chi Chi Akwumabwao to the line. And she'll have two free throws coming up. She's an exceptional free throw shooter. Makes the first one. Makes the first. One more coming up here for Chi Chi, and she got them both. That is good. Chi Chi is 73% foul shooter on the season. She's been better than that in conference play, barely missing any. Sixty-eight forty-six. They approach the three minute mark. Six to shoot. Brittany Strickland drives left side, pull up 12 footer, no good. And we're gonna have a foul. Robertson over the back, I believe. Gonna be free throws. Yes, coming up. I believe one and one. Or is it? Guess not. Entering for the Lady Bulldogs, number 32, Clarissa Moore. I thought they were shooting free throws. It's a ninth team foul. It was not a player control foul. There we go. It took them a while to figure it out, but Chi Chi is going to go to the line for a one and one here. It wasn't a charge. It was just an over the back foul, so it's free throws. And it's a little surprise that took them that long to Suiting make that decision. One Some 
surprisingly missing there for Chi Chi on the one and one. 2.50 to go, 22 point lead for Alabama A&M. Strickland nearly lost it. She's pressured, double team. Now a timeout called by Coach Warmly. Fearing a turnover there, you're up 22. But wanted to call a timeout anyway. Please mark your calendars for Saturday, January 19th. That's the date of our next home game, or our next home game, that the Lady Lions and Golden Lions host the Lady Tigers and Tigers of Texas Southern University. It'll be coaches versus cancer night, and fans are asked to join the men's team. The Alabama A&M, the, the telling game. stat tonight, now rebounding UAPB 44 to 21. While shooting 48% out of the Bulldogs, 25 of 52. UAPB 14 of 56, just 25% tonight. Both teams have shot 17 free throws. A&M's made 15 of them, UAPB 11. Brittany Strickland. Inbound, shot up off the glass, no good by Shebrin Richardson, the freshman from Dumas, Arkansas. Foul number 34, Chi Chi with a foul. That would be her third personal foul. The third on Chi Chi, team, team foul number four. Duty two, number 42, Shebrin Richardson. First shot up is good. She's got some family here in attendance. Made the short drive up from Dumas, about 45 minutes south from here. In and out on the next. But she's in the scoring column with that one point. Step back, long 17-footer, rims out, no good by right offensive rebound by Chi Chi. And she's fouled, she'll shoot a couple here with 2.25 remaining in the game. Lady Lions. A long way to go and a short time to get there, down 69-46 with just 2.25 to play. In for a and will be number 34, Summer Harper. One more coming up here for Rock Wimbabwell as she made the first and the second. And the second free throw is good. Another solid game out of Chi Chi. She's got 14 in the game. The two seniors, Chi Chi and Marsh, have combined for 32 of UAPB's 48. Wraparound pass, layup is good and one. Good pass there by Alyssa Strickland in the bucket by the Dumas native, Shaverin Richardson. Foul on Amber Hagee. Her first personal foul, fifth pink foul. Shooting one, Shaverin Richardson. And her free throw off the back of the iron, no good. Here's Ryan's Malone, she'll pull up, 15 footer, no good, gets her own rebound and misses again. And knocked out of bounds, gonna stay with UAPV with two minutes to play. Lady Lions, number four, Christina Lafayne. And in for the Lady Bulldogs, number 21, Christian. Checking Harper. out of the ball game, probably for the final time, is Alyssa Strickland. She finished with 12 points. Had a solid game. Christina Lafayne. Time out, Lady Lions. Time out you know by the Lady Lions. 71-50 now the score. 156 to play. As the Lady Bulldogs have been very impressive here on the road in Pine Bluff tonight. and National Guard personnel. U.S. Army's history shows engagements and conflicts from the root Revolutionary War to the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Lady Lions, as well as the men, look to bounce back there against Southern coming up this weekend. Maybe it's the Southern Alcorn trip coming up. 
Now another steal and Wright missed it for UAPB. Marsh gets it back. She lays it up and in. 71-52, lead down to 19. And now another foul here. This one's going to be on Alabama A&M, clearing out some space, Jessica Lowry. Foul well, number 50, Jessica Lowry, our first personal foul. Another timeout called here. Timeout, Lady Bulldogs. Lead pain poisoning affects 1 million children today. If you're pregnant or have young children and your home was built before 1978, you could be at risk. Learn how to protect your family. To find your home's danger zones, the health effects, or just to find help, log on to leadfreekids.org. Marsh, the inbound off of a sane. Let's see, it is. Turns it over. So 143 to go, and the Bulldogs will inbound it here. And a double dribble called. Lady lines to get it back as Shabrin Richardson turns it over, and the Bulldogs have gotten a little sloppy here the last couple of minutes. Another timeout call. My goodness. 141 to go, and this final five minutes is taking forever here. Timeout, Lady Lions. Shot up, no good. Chi Chi chases it down. Goes up with the left hand and misses it from point blank range. Alabama a and going to get it back, and not another steal. Chi-Chi gets it back, goes over the right hand this time, and gets it to go. And another timeout. A full timeout here. A 1.23 to go. I'm going to take a timeout as well. How about that? As this is really drawn out here down the stretch. Timeout on the floor. I'll take one. 71-54 to go. 17-point lead for Alabama a and with 1.23 to play. this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Jose and the students in your community make it through by visiting boostup.org. Bulldogs inbounded here. Leading by 17 and a trap top of the key. Working the right side of the floor. Marsh, solid defense, shot up and will not go for Kristen Hopper, and UAPB's got the rebound. Here comes Lassane in transition. One minute to play, and her shot is blocked. Rebound offensively by Hagee, and she turns it over. Turns it over, stolen by Harper, and then a foul is called on UAPB with 55 seconds left. Foul fourth on, on Chi Chi. That would be her fourth personal. 16 foul. Trying to inbound it is Hopper, and she turns it over. Another steal. Hagee for three. She got it. Amber Hagee hits the three on the right wing. 71-57, 14-point game. 47 seconds left. Another turnover. Lassane. little pump fake off the glass. Wright missed an easy one, and then commits the foul. My goodness. Had an easy two there and missed it, and then draws the foul. Would have made it a 12-point game with 40 seconds left. The lead was once 24, so UAPB playing very hard down to the final buzzer here. Free throws coming up here. Shabrin Richardson, freshman from Dumas, will toe the line for a one and one.
In and out, no good. Aggie the rebound for Pine Bluff. Right to push it ahead. Left side of the floor, wide open three. Lassane will not go and lost out of bounds by Richardson. So UAPB will get it back here with 31 seconds left. And trying to get it in bounds, going to have a foul called on A&M. Last well, thing they wanted to do there. Her first personal foul. First shot and is good for Wright. Right. 71-58. Right. One more here for Wright. She knocks in a pair. 71-59, 10 points in the game now for Cassidy Wright. And a jump ball situation. Alternating possessions, gonna give it back. We're gonna give it to the Bulldogs, actually, they keep the ball. Just 26 seconds left, they'll try to inbound it again here. They'll get it ahead, trying to get it down low, stolen by Hagee. Lassane, look out as they hit the score table with the uh, pass there. Did Hagee and papers go flying everywhere. 16 seconds remaining. It's going to give it back to the Bulldogs. Just 10 seconds to go. Richardson, left side, shot up, will not go for Hopper, but the stick back is there. Jessica for Jessica Lowry. Last second shot, three is good by Lassane, and that changes the final score. Yes, Lassane's got seven in the game, and the ball game is over. Final score, 73-62. 11 point a win for Alabama a and They led by as many as 24. UAPB came on late in the game to cut it closer, but A&M wins it in convincing fashion here tonight. 73-62, the final score. Special thanks to our crew here, Randy Kelly, Shelly Roby Ingram, Devin Killingsworth-Wells, Corbin Howard, Archie Howard, and Brandon Miner. For Finley Hill back in the studio, I'm Tim Stubbs courtside saying so long. Thanks for watching and listening to Lady Lion Basketball. We'll have men's action coming up for you shortly here on UAPB-TV as well as live on KUAP 89.7. Go line so long.